What's up guys, this is Captain Fahey coming at you on PlayStation Home and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the No Man's Land game. When you first entered the No Man's Land space, you will actually be brought into the tutorial mode for the game. You will be shooting at dummy enemies and real enemies that will run around and try and kill you, but overall this is supposed to give users a basic idea of what is in store for them when they play this game. You probably noticed by now that you've had a change in look as you were wearing a military type outfit. Unfortunately, you will not be able to change into your favorite clothing on PlayStation Home, but instead if you head over to the armor store and click on the change armor loadout, and then proceed to hit the triangle button and head to the store, you can have a very wide range of outfits or military style uniforms to choose from ranging from light armor to heavy armor. And if you're getting tired of the same old pistol that you've been running around with since you first entered the space, you can head over to the guns store area, go over to the change weapon loadout, hit triangle for store, and you will see a few guns and grenades available for purchase. After running around the space a bit, you may ask yourself where do I actually play the no man's land game? Well if you head up back to the top where you first spawn, and go up to the holographic no man's land spinning emblems you will notice that you will be able to click on the no man's land minigame you can choose between ranked and unranked matches and even go back to the tutorial mode if you're a little bit rusty on how to play as well as being able to change the level even though there's only one at the current moment and two different game types these would be team deathmatch and scavenger Team Deathmatch is the standard multiplayer mode on any game these days, so you probably know what you're in store for at that point. Scavenger has you and another team going up against each other, trying to collect 12 different boxes that are located around the map. To win, all you have to do is hold more than the other team, or collect all 12. The game itself is very reminiscent to the Uncharted 3 Fortune Hunter minigame that was released on home a while back. And even though No Man's Land has more options for your characters such as weapon loadouts and armor, the gameplay itself feels a little bit slower and sometimes clunky going from one spot to another. Also note sometimes it can take a good while to actually get into a match or play in No Man's Land which may force you to go back to the dry dock and then return to a different server. Let's just hope in the near future that Vimy will release some patches for the game that will fix these loading issues as well as maybe even provide rewards for users. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at the No Man's Land space and minigame, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!